All right, we're setting up for abrasing. We have wet rags protecting everything. We have our nitrogen flowing through this side and free flowing out the other side. So we're ready to start brazing. Quarter of a turn for acetylene, an eighth of a turn for oxygen. We come out pretty close. So here I have my two cones. I'm going to add a little bit extra acetylene and then I want to add a little bit of oxygen. That's going to be a little louder than normal because that rag is going to be absorbing a lot of heat from my brazing. I may even need a little bit more. We'll see how it goes. So what I'm going to do is heat the pipe first, just melt the brazing rod. Then I'm going to move the torch to the back of the coupling. Capley action is going to put it into the joints until it's all the way around and in so deep. So the brazing song is we heat the pipe first, just melt the brazing rod. Brazing rod's just melting. Heat the pipe first, just melt the brazing rod. Move the torch to the back of the coupling and capillary action. Pulls it in the joint until it's all the way around and in so deep. Then we smooth the edges out. So what I'm doing now is I'm trying to get the flame to the back side of the joint. And I'm pulling that brazing rod into the joint where it's in so deep, all the way around. And then once I get it all the way in deep, then I'm going to smooth those edges out to make it nice and clean. All right, so that one's done. I'm going to braze the next one. I'm going to add a little bit more heat for the next one because it's a larger size pipe. I'm going to have my two cones where they just almost matching. When I'm talking about the two cones, I'm talking about right here and here. I'm not talking about this at all. Same rule applies. I'm going to heat the pipe first just to melt the brazing rod. So here as I'm heating the pipe up, I'm just going to try running my brazing rod across to see if it's melting. And it's not. So now it's starting to melt, so I'm going to move the torch to the back of the coupling. And capillary action is going to pull it into the joint. So now that I'm on the back side, that capillary action is pulling it into the joint. Get a little bit more heat because I'm losing a lot for that wet rag. So here we are, add a little bit more heat. I'm going to try it again, heat the pipe first. Move the torch to the back of the coupling. So now as I'm adding brazing rod, it's pulling it up inside that joint right there. And I'm going to do that all the way around. And the brazing rod goes towards that heat. Right, so we hear this hissing noise. This is the uh, rag where all the moisture at H2O is changing state from liquid to vapor. It's evaporating, which is absorbing 970 BTUs for every pound of water. And all I'm doing is cooling this off. By cooling it off with a rag is actually a good thing because it's annealing the copper. And annealing copper is different from annealing steel. If you anneal steel, it becomes more brittle. But copper, when you anneal copper, it becomes actually softer. So it keeps a good soft connection that prevents it from breaking. So now that I got this cooled off, I'll take my mirror and I'll check all the way around all the joints with the mirror. Especially I want to check this back side over here to make sure it's in good shape. So I'll move the camera closer so you can see what it looks like. So here we are, this is my suction line. And if we look, see how the brazen rod is pulled all the way back here? That's where it's pulled deep into the joint all the way around. And this is the edge. This is where my two pipes meet. This is what I call my insurance and my signature. Pulling the brazing rod back in here is your true braze. Smoothing this out right here is your signature. And we have the same thing over here. This is my liquid line. And I've pulled that brazing rod all the way back deep into the joint. I didn't pull it excessively far back. I pulled it back deep to the joint here. And then I smooth, get it focused, I smooth this edges out right here to where it's nice and smooth all the way around so that's smoothing the edges that's what we want that's your insurance and your and your signature and also we still feel that there's just a little bit of nitrogen coming out of here that prevents oxidation so there's no oxidation going on inside these pipes so now i'm going to move to the inside unit and we're going to do the same thing yeah. oh. so it was hanging down the
so we fix it. All right, so we're going to braise the inside section here. And one of the things we're going to have is this nice little rubber gasket. This rubber gasket prevents uh, air from coming through. But when I'm brazing, it's going to be too close. It's going to damage this, bra this uh, rubber. So I'm going to move this rubber down out of the way. Then I'm going to take this wet rag. I'm going to wrap this wet rag around this so it protects it so it doesn't melt away. Now I'm going to light the torch up uh, and we're going to braze these connections. I'm going to put my safety glasses on, my tinted safety glasses to protect my eyes. I'm going to do an eighth of a turn, about a quarter turn of uh, acetylene and about an eighth or sixteenth of a turn of quarter turn of acetylene, sixteenth turn of oxygen. I light it up. When I light it, it comes in almost perfect. I'm going to add a little bit more settling right now we're ready to start brazing so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the same thing this is my pipe so I'm gonna heat this pipe first until the right brazing rod is just starting to melt the other thing is on this back side over here we want to make sure there's nothing in there nothing in the way uh, nothing that can melt uh, make sure there's no TXVs no sensing bulbs but this one's gonna have a fixed orifice we don't have to worry about that although I do not like fixed orifices this is what we're gonna have right now we'll change it out later so, got my torch going. I'm going to heat this pipe first. Once this brazing rod starts to melt, I know I'm good to go. I'm going to add a little bit more heat, heat it up a little faster. So you can see that cone comes out longer, pulls in tighter again. Two cones match. We're going to heat the pipe again. Too light of a heat, we have a we call a cold braze. We don't want that. And too hot, it melts all the brazing rods. So, see how it's, or it turns into liquid. See how it's starting to melt? So, now I'm going to move it to the back of the coupling. And as I'm adding brazing rod on the where the coupling is, the flame is pulling it all the way up deep into that joint. So I'm going to do that all the way around. And notice my flame's not actually touching my brazing rod. It's capillary action. It's the heat of the pipe that's melting it. I want to pull it all the way into the joint, all the way around. All right, so we're going to do the back side here. I'm just going to pull it up. It's not pulled up deep enough to the joint, so I'm just going to work the flame to pull it up into the joint. Now that I did that, I'm going to smooth the edges out by adding some brazing rod and just I'm going to feather this flame over to make it nice and smooth. And I got to try to not get it too hot. If I get it too hot, everything melts and turns to a type of a just liquid, just washes away. I don't want that brazing rod to wash away. It can also boil. I don't want that brazing rod to boil because it's going to give me impurities, imperfections. So now we are uh, a little bit more here. A little bit too hot of a flame, but it's all right. We have a good braze. I'm going to drop my flame down, reduce the oxygen, and then I'm going to reduce the acetylene. And now I'm going to braze this 3H joint. Now over here, there was a, a little washer, and I took that washer off, a Teflon washer, because I don't want it to melt. So while I braise this, I'm going to do the same roll. I'm going to heat the pipe first. Just melt the brazing rod. It's a smaller uh, smaller pipe, so it's going to be a smaller flame. I'm heating this pipe. Heat the pipe first. Just melt the brazing rod. So we got to keep it up. See how it's melting? Now I'm going to move it to the back of the coupling. And that capillary action will pull it uphill against the gravity. And it's going to go towards the flame. The flame is its home. It's going to go to its home. So we're going to do that now all the way around, and I want to make sure it's in so deep. Apologize for the background noise. We are having a class right now, but that is normal with our class. Students get hands-on education. I'm going to make sure the back side's done. There we go. All right, so we have all the way around. I'm going to close off my oxygen and my acetylene, open the oxygen back up to uh, blow out the, any flames. I'm going to use my mirror. I'm going to check all the way around, check for any possible leaks, any cracks, any impurities, anything that's not just perfect. I'm going to then reheat it again. And it looks really, really good. So I'll move the camera around so you can see it. So now we have brazed this connection all the way around. And then this connection here, it's pretty ugly. I got it too hot, but uh, we've brazed it all the way around. So now what I can do is I can shut off 
my nitrogen purge and I can open this fitting right here. I can take that fitting back off and I can put that Teflon O-ring back in there. And it is sitting around here somewhere. Uh, I was gonna show it to you, but I don't know where I put it. So anyways, this is our class that they are all working on condensing in it right now. Hands on education. We're talking about the ring. There's a little Teflon ring that goes here. I take that out while I'm brazing. Here's that Teflon ring. I'm gonna stick it in right here. Now when I put this fitting, back together and it's still a little bit warm not enough to melt that Teflon I don't think I'm trying to do it with one hand takes a little bit longer and tighten this up then I can use my adjustable wrench and really we should have a torque wrench and be torquing this up uh, I didn't bring my torque wrench with me but there we go.